<laughs> who hasn't who hasn't been here from countryside? Who are any newbies? Never been here before. You guys were all here before. Okay, you know about okay. work on the microphone as close as you can. Yep. All right, move up to it uh, when you give your answers. Wait for me to call your names when you buzz in before you answer and that sort of thing. Yeah. You about ready over here, Skippy? Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> I had to look over my shoulder. Called Skippy a long time. Ago. <laughs> you know, it was the first time for. <laughs> yeah. your pencil. Get out of your way there. Take your pencil. All right, if we're ready, uh, we can get this uh, thing going. I'm going to do some radio speak here, and then we'll start the actual competition. Welcome to Academic Challenge. My name is Jim Gifford, your host and moderator, and today we are featuring teams from Bangor and Countryside Academy. WSGM's Academic Challenge features scholastic, uh, scholastic competition involving high schools from Berrien and Van Buren counties and is sponsored by Waterville Lake Public Schools, Lake Michigan College, Lakeshore Public Schools, and by Chemical Bank. And we need to meet the teams first, so let's do that. From Bangor, step up to the mic and identify yourselves, please. Madison, freshman. Zeppelin, senior. Madison, junior. Alonzo, sophomore. We'll do Madison with an O here and Madison with an E. How's that? <laughs> And your uh, coach is? Uh, Dill Fevers. All right. And from Cut <laughs> oh What? Did you mess up on that one already? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. He does have a different name from last time. <laughs> oh, my bad. It's uh, Phil Devers. Yeah, his name is Sklerb Dale Fevers. <laughs> and from Countryside Academy. Michaela Warren, senior. Mario Ortega, and senior too. Caleb, junior. Alyssa Clark, Sr. And who's the captain, Michaela? Uh, Ms. Sharon Krejci. Ms. Sharon Krejci is your coach, and you are acting as captain, Michaela. Is that correct? Yes. All right, and we'll go with that. All right, here's the basic rules. First and second halves, we announce the value of each question before it's asked. When you press your button, please wait to be recognized. You'll have 10 seconds to answer each, que each question, 15 seconds for math questions. There's no consultation allowed. There will be in the 60-second round. More on that shortly. Uh, I'll be your scorekeeper and judge. Alec Heiler asking the questions. And if everybody's ready, Alec, take it away. The first question will be worth five points. Minnesota doctors found that eating what fermented milk product can allow people unable to tolerate milk to have all its benefits? Zeppelin, Bangor. Skim milk. That is incorrect. Countryside, five seconds. Michaela? Evaporated milk? No, the correct answer is yogurt. Uh. For 15 points, what film sees Eli Wallach, Lee Van Cleef, and Clint Eastwood stare at each other in a standoff? Alonzo, Bangor. The good, the bad, and the ugly. For 15 points. For 15 points, a small-town Midwesterner and his unmarried daughter is in fact the subject of what familiar portrait by Grant Wood? And that's time. And that is American Gothic. For 15 points, named for an ancient Greek thinker... <laughs> For 15 points, named for an ancient Greek thinker, what kind of irony pretends ignorance as a way to lead on and eventually confound an opponent? Caleb, countryside? Philosoph. That is incorrect. Yes, Bangor, five seconds. Zeppelin? Theoretical. That is incorrect. Uh, the thinker <laughs> was Socrates, and it's Socratic irony. For five points, in which football scoring choice does a team try to run or pass the ball into the end zone? Zeppelin, Bangor, two-point conversion. That is correct, for five points. For five points, what member of the Marmot family is a subject of interest to many Americans in the northern states on February 2nd? Alyssa, countryside. Groundhog. That is correct, for five points. For 15 points, what geographical feature divides Washington State into two regions? Michaela, countryside? Mountains. I Be specific. Mountain 
range? <laughs> no. <laughs> Bangor, five seconds. Uh, is it Zeppelin. The Rocky Mountains? Uh, the correct answer is the Cascade Mountains. Ah. For five points, the U.S. ambassador to England wrote of this conflict, it's been a splendid little war. That was in a letter to Teddy Roosevelt. Name the war. Michaela, countryside. Spanish-American war? That is correct for five points. For ten points, in which, cro- in which quadrant is the ordered pair five, negative seven? And that ordered pair is five, negative seven. Michaela, countryside. Fourth. That is correct for ten points. For five points, evidently located somewhere between the Tigris and Euphrates rivers, in the easternmost third of the Fertile Crescent, name this place where, according to the Bible, temptation... Zeppelin, Bangor. Garden of Eden. That is correct for five points. For 15 points, Andrea can complete a job in four hours. Marla can finish the same task in six hours, and Mike can do it alone in 12. How long will it take to complete the job if all three work together? Andrea can, comp- Andrea can complete a job in four, Marla can do it in six, and Mike can do it alone in 12. How long will it take to complete the job if all three work together? Alonzo, Bangor. Seven and a half. That is incorrect. Countryside, five seconds. Mario? Two hours. Repeat your answer. Two. That is correct for 15 points. That's what I thought you said. I just want to make sure. For five points, legend has it that Galileo used what building for the purpose of experimentally determining the rate of falling bodies? Michaela, countryside. Leaning Tower of Pisa? That is correct for five points. For 20 points, A and B are angles. Sine A equals 3 over 5, and sine B equals 5 over 13. Find the sine of the quantity A plus B close quantity. A and B are angles. Sine A equals 3 over 5, and sine B equals 5 over 13. Find the sine of the quantity A plus B close quantity. And that's time. The correct answer is 56 over 65, and that's why I got a C in geometry. For 10 points, this is a kind of musical instrument resembling a xylophone. It consists of a series of hard wooden bars, usually with resonators beneath. It is played by being struck with small hammers. What is it called? Madison with an O or with uh, an E. No. Yeah, with an E from Bangor. Is it a vibraphone? That is incorrect. Countryside, five seconds. Time. And that is a marimba. For 15 points, Spiro T. Agnew resigned on October 10th, 1973. Which vice president resigned on December 28th, 1832? Time. And that is John Calhoun. For five points, an artistic movement flourished in France from the 1860s through the 1880s. The dominant theme of this art was the study of light. Name this movement. Mario, countryside. Impressionism. That is correct for five points. For 15 points, two presidents have appointed cabinet members with the same last name as their own. Name either. Mario, countryside. Theodore Roosevelt, Franklin Delano Roosevelt. That is incorrect. Bangor, five seconds. Zeppelin. Uh, Andrew Johnson. No, wait. That is incorrect. The correct answers were Kennedy, his brother Robert was the Attorney General, and yeah. Wilson, an unrelated Secretary of Labor. For five points, the great New England poet, whom President Kennedy invited to his inauguration, wrote, Birches, Mending Wall, and the Death of the Hired Man. Who was he? (laughs) 
Time. You've read him plenty of times. It's Robert Frost. For 10 points, if the total magnification of a microscope is 430 times and that of the eyepiece is 10 times, what is the magnification of the high power objective? Mario, countryside. 4,300. That is incorrect. Bangor. Five seconds. You did complete the. That question. was the okay. uh, high power objective. <laughs> Time. And that is actually 43 times. For five points, if I mentioned club, flank, tenderloin, and Delmonico, what would I be talking about? Time. And that would be uh, steak or cuts of beef. For five points, when you were very young, you may have read a book by H.A. Ray about a little monkey whose curiosity was always getting the better of him. Zeppelin, Bangor. Curious George. That's correct for five points. For five points, how deep is the end zone on a football field? Zeppelin, Bangor. Ten yards. That is correct for five points. I'm ripping through the questions right now. For five points, in 1827, Congress first hired boys to fill members' inkwells, light oil lamps, and deliver message on horseback. Now male, female, now male and female high school juniors fill what job in Congress? Time. And that is, those are pages. Most of the, oh, for 15 points, most of the body's cholesterol is produced by which organ? Zeppelin, Bangor. The heart? That is incorrect. Con countryside, Mario. Pancreas? That is also incorrect. The correct answer is liver. For 15 points, name the St. Louis Cardinals pitcher who set a World Series record of 17 strikeouts in 1968. And that's time. And was still beaten by the Detroit Tigers. That correct answer is Bob Gibson. This next question, the final question of the first half. For 10 points, loggerheads were originally long-handled instruments with large metal cups on the end used to melt tar over an open fire. What do we mean today when we say people are loggerheads? Or at loggerheads. So they're at loggerheads. That's time. And that is involved in a quarrel or a head-on dispute. And that's the end of the first half of today's academic challenge. We'll be back with the score and the 62nd round after this on WSJM, the news and talk of Michigan's Great Southwest. Let's bring her back. Yeah. Uh, after after this, yeah, okay. for the second hand. Thank you. All right, here we go. At the end of the first half, the score: Countryside Academy forty-five, Bangor thirty-five. 
And we move on to the 60-second round. And teams, you'll have three categories to choose from. We'll give you 60 seconds to answer as many of the 10 questions as you can. Each one worth 10 points. There's a 20-point bonus if you answer all 10 within the time limit. You're encouraged to consult with one another at this point. The answers, though, must come from the team captain. And after the minute's up, the opposing team will have a chance to answer any questions the first team could not. And Bangor, you are trailing just barely. But regardless, you'll have the first choice of these categories. Residents, boats, and biochemistry. Residents, boats, and biochemistry. Residents. They're going with residents. We're putting 60 seconds on the clock. And are you ready? I have an intro, so. Uh, all right. Uh, do the intro, intro, then I'll start the clock, the timer. You call a native of Texas a Texan. What do you call a native of these other states? Florida. What? Floridian. That is correct. California. Californian. That is correct. Vermont. Pass. Alabama. Albanian. <laughs> that is incorrect. Maryland. Pass. New Hampshire. Pass. Indiana. Hmm? Hoosiers. That is incorrect. Wyoming. Pass. Connecticut. Pass. And then Arkansas. What? Arkansan. That is correct. Three correct for Bangor for a total of 30 points there. Only for Michigan or Illinois. They were trying to say that, but they didn't. Michigan and then Illinois. That is correct. All right. Um. Let's turn it uh, over to Countryside Academy now. And uh, back at it, and we'll try to get the ones answered that uh, Bangor missed. You guys ready? Nope. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> too bad. Uh, answers have to come from Michaela, and whenever you're ready. You call a native of Texas a Texan. What do you call a native of these other states? Vermont. Vermontian. That is incorrect. Alabama. Alabama. That is correct. Maryland. Marylandian. That is incorrect. New Hampshire. New Englander. That is incorrect. Indiana. Indian. <laughs> <laughs> that is incorrect. Wyoming. <laughs> Wyoming. Wyoming? <laughs> that is incorrect. <laughs> Connecticut. Connecticut man. <laughs> Connecticut? That is incorrect. One correct for Countryside Academy on a t the uh, topic that seemed to be more difficult than I think we all thought Don't it would be. <laughs> so. My favorite was India is an in Well, you Indian. want to go ahead and give them the, the right ones there so they don't go home wondering. If you're from Vermont, you're a Vermonter. Um, Maryland, you're a Marylander. Or a Mar Marylander. Uh, New Hampshire is a New Hampshireman. Indiana is Indianian or Indianan. Wyoming is Wyomingite. And Connecticut is a Connecticuter. Of course it is. That sounds weird. All right. Let's uh, reverse the roles here. Countryside, it's your turn. You have your choice of boats or biochemistry. Boats or biochemistry. Anyway, your two, your captain. Okay, let's go with boats. Boats. Gonna be boats. All right then. Why not? Back on the clock we go. <laughs> and whenever you're ready, Alec. What kind of ships do jets land on? Uh. 
carrier. Aircraft carrier. That is correct. What kind of boat helps other boats into harbor? Tugboat. That is correct. What is another name for a large personal pleasure boat? Yacht. That is correct. What nationality of people have boats called junks? Pass. What kind of boat carries people in cars? Ferry. That is correct. What kind of boat did Cleopatra take on the Nile? <laughs> a canoe. Uh, that is incorrect. What do you use to propel a canoe? Or. That is incorrect. What monarch sent the Spanish Armada against England in 1588? You can answer that. Or maybe not. <laughs> no answer? No. All right. Four correct. That is correct. For Countryside Academy, when it comes to boats, for a total of 40 points. And we'll go back to Bangor for the ones missed and the ones we didn't get to. Whenever you're ready. Bangor, here we go. What is another name for a large... Per oh, hold on, sorry. Yeah, restart this. All right. Because you got that question, right? They got that question. Yes. yes. Sorry about that. All right. We'll go now. All right. <laughs> what nationality of people have boats called junks? Chinese. That is correct. What kind of boat did Cleopatra take down the Nile? Transport ship. That is incorrect. What do you use to propel a canoe? A paddle. That is correct. What monarch sent the Spanish Armada against England in 1588? Hmm? Ferdinand? That is incorrect. What did, the what did the Titanic hit causing it to sink? Iceberg. That is correct. England's maritime policy in the early 19th century involved the forcible seizure of American sailors on the high seas. What term denotes this policy? Pass. And that is That's it. Dang. Three That's correct for a total it's of a, it's a good. 30 points there. Yeah. Going to give them the ones that they missed? Yeah, um... So we actually got to throw almost all these. Uh, Cleopatra took a barge down the Nile. Um, oh. Philip II was the man who uh, went Spanish, Spanish Armada. Armada. And then impressment. I think that's the reason, the 1812, one of the reasons. Why all right, that ends the 60-second round. We check the scores and conclude the game next here on WSJM, the news and talk of Michigan's great Southwest. Who did we lose? Madison with an O? Okay. And Nathan is back in the saddle again. Any subs over there? Uh, we're having a young lady take the place of Caleb. Like, name this team. They play for the Windy City. And then Nathan. Iron, Iron Curtain. Ooh. Oh, my bad, buddy. I wish I'd have scooted it for you. My apologies. Sorry. Oh, you didn't have to say anything. Like, which team has the more, more Super Bowl appearances? The Cowboys. Michaela, are you uh, speaking on behalf of your school for a little thing? We're not doing it the second, but you're okay. Mm. Same thing. Good morning. All right. Like, Good morning. Give me the high yeah. sign whenever you're ready. You rolling? <laughs> Everybody ready? All right. And we do have, uh, wait a minute, what happened here? Anna has come on board in place of Caleb. Mm -hmm. All right. Hi. So I get this right. Here we go. The score at the end of the 60, uh, what? Let me try that again. The score at the end of the 62nd round, Countryside Academy 95, Bangor 95. And it's time now to find out what's happening at each of our participating schools. Let's start with Bangor, and here is Zeppelin. All right, greetings from BHS. Week 13 of the semester was a short one. We're thankful for a two-day school week. We'd like to give a shout-out to the 67 students that made honor roll. We don't have time to name them. They enjoy a reward breakfast on December 3rd. A holiday concert is coming up for our band, which will be held Thursday on December 4th in the gymnasium. The band is also 
performing in Bangor's annual Lights on the Parade on Saturday, 6th of December. Our National Honor Society sponsored a blood drive two weeks ago. Our goal of 61 pints was greatly exceeded by one. Winter Athletics are, is gearing up. First games, matches, and meets for basketball, wrestling, and competitive cheer will start soon. And we'd like to wish everyone a great Thanksgiving and say thank you to all of the sponsors of Academic Challenge. Thank you, Zeppelin, from Countryside Academy. Here's Michaela. Happy Thanksgiving from Countryside Academy. Athletics are really picking up as our basketball teams begin preparing for their upcoming season. The 8th grade boys basketball team continued to run at a perfect season last night. Keep it up, guys. The student body participated in the Battle of the Blankets for the Berrien County Homeless Shelter. Countryside donated over 50 blankets, defeating all other Berrien County high schools. Once again, thank you to the sponsors of WSJM for hosting the Academic Challenge season. And thank you, Michaela. We have a couple of substitutions. First from Countryside Academy, we have... Anna, uh, sophomore. Sophomore. And from Bangor... Nathan, Jr. All right, welcome both of you. Let's begin the second half of today's academic challenge between Bangor and Countryside Academy. Alec, whenever you're ready. For 15 points, identify the very familiar tune that is the state song of Kansas. Time. And that is the Home on the Range tune. For 20 points, the first two disciples Jesus called were Peter and Andrew. What words did Jesus first speak to Peter and Andrew? Zeppelin, Bangor? Come to me, my sons. <laughs> that is incorrect. Countryside? Anybody? Five seconds? <laughs> And that is, follow me and I will make you fishers of men. For five points, microscopic hairs projecting from the surface of a cell are capable of rhythmic motion. What are these hairs called? Time. And that is cilia. For ten points... Calculate the calculate in square feet the area of a square whose size measures five yards. Okay. Mario, countryside. Oh, no, uh, <laughs> you give me some time, please. <laughs> 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 Ten seconds. Uh, no answer. Bangor. Anybody? Five seconds. Twenty-five. Uh, Alonzo. Twenty-five. The correct answer is two twenty-five. Because I think, yeah, yeah, it wasn't good. Yeah, yeah, you need to transfer. Yeah, right idea though. <laughs> yeah, for them to have five first. So. For five points, when it is noon at a when it is noon at prime meridian on the equator, what time is it at seventy five degrees north latitude on this meridian? Mario, countryside. The same one, twelve noon. That is correct for five points. For twenty points, find all solutions from zero to pi of the equation. Sine of x equals the square root of 2 divided by 2. I'll read it again. Find all solutions from 0 to pi of the equation sine of x equals the square root of 2 divided by 2. And that's time. And that is... Uh, pi over 4 and 3 pi over 4, or 45 degrees and 135 degrees. For five points, what is the common name for a mass of snow, ice, and mixed rubble moving quickly down a mountainside or a cliff? Zeppelin, Bangor. Avalanche. That is correct for five points. For 20 points, as Louis the, as Louis the Eighth lay dying, he heard someone moving about the room and asked who was there. What reply was given by a teeny voice of a five-year-old boy? Mario, countryside. Your worst nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> that is incorrect. Bangor. Five seconds. Die Hard movie. <laughs> uh, Zeppelin. Daddy, I'm home. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually kind of right. It's uh, Louis the Ninth. Oh. 
<laughs> so ipso facto, I guess. For five points, in the Harry Potter books, Anna Magi are wizards or witches capable of turning themselves into particular animals and then back to human form, and then back to human form again. What animal form did Cy- Siri- or Cyrus Black assume? A uh, zeppelin, Bangor. A wolf. That is incorrect. Uh, <laughs> countryside. Five seconds. Michaela? A dog? That is correct for five points. <laughs> some Harry Potter fans over on Bangor side. For five points, what book in 1984 topped the New York Times bestseller list, selling better than it was originally written in 1949 by George Orwell? Michaela, Countryside. 1984? That is correct for five points. For 20 points, a fantasized Humphrey Bogart plays a key role in what 1972 film written and starred, written and starring Woody Allen? Written by and starring Woody Allen. Time? That's a tough one. It's Play It Against Sam. For five points... Under international law, if a plane crashes in the middle of the Pacific, where would the survivors be buried? Uh, Mario, countryside. Survivors are alive. They wouldn't be buried. That is correct for five points. You would hope they would be buried. (laughs) 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 For five points, what call is an NFL referee confirming when he places the palms of both hands together and raises them above his head? Nathan Bangor. Safety. That is correct for five points. For five points, before the advent of modern medicine, pneumonia could spell death for its victims. But how do you spell pneumonia? Mario, countryside? If I try. P-N-E-M-O-N-I-A? That is incorrect. Bangor, to steal, five seconds. And that's time. You were close. It's P N E U M O N I A. For 20 points, Queen Victoria was the longest reigning monarch in British history. For how many years did she reign? Zeppelin, Bangor. 75. That is incorrect. Countryside, five seconds. 60. Michaela? 62. The correct answer is 64. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Who on earth would know that? <laughs> For 15 points, it's a soft form of limestone largely composed of shells of minute animals such as formanifer. What is the familiar name? Or what is its familiar name? Alyssa, countryside. Fossil? That is incorrect. Bangor? Five seconds. Time? And the correct answer is chalk. For 15 points, a gardener works on a lawn from 11.30 a.m. to 1.45 p.m. If the entire job takes three hours, what is the ratio of work remaining to be completed? Mm -hmm. A gardener works on a lawn from 11.30 a.m. to 1.45 p.m. If the entire job takes three hours, what is the ratio of work remaining to be completed? Uh, Mario, countryside. One and three fourths. That is incorrect. Bangor, anybody? Alonzo. 2.75 over three. That is incorrect. The correct answer is one third. For five points, what is the only Nobel Prize that can be awarded to an organization or institution? rather than an individual. Mario, countryside. The Peace Prize. That is correct for five points. Makes sense. (laughs) For ten points, you get fresher milk from the bottom of your supermarket's display case. Why? Alonzo, Bangor. Hot air rises, heat rises. That's correct for ten points. It's colder at the bottom, but... For fifteen points... He was the only novelist ever to be awarded... Oh, this is for 15 points if I didn't say that. (laughs) He was the only novelist ever to be awarded both the Congressional Gold Medal and the Presidential Medal of Freedom. But he considered himself just a storyteller, a guy with a seat by the campfire. 
Name this prolific author of Hondo. And that's time. And the correct answer there is Louis Lawmore. For five points, when lava solidifies to form igneous rock, minerals in the rock containing what element align with Earth's magnetic field? Mario, countryside. Magnesium. That is incorrect. Bangor, five seconds. Zeppelin. Sulfur. That is incorrect. The correct answer is iron. For 20 points, which of Aristotle's work consisted of two sections, tragedy and comedy? Michaela, countryside. Antigone. That is incorrect. Bangor, five seconds. And that's time. And this next question will be the final question of the second half. Sorry, can you give the answer for that one? It is poetics. For five points, in Nordic nations, if you throw up the right hand with the index and pinky fingers raised, it's a salute to Satan. So Norwegians were understandably shocked and confused by that hand gesture President Bush and his daughter Jenna made during the inaugural parade on January 20, 2005. But in Texas, that gesture is a show of support for what football team? Zeppelin, Bangor. Texas Longhorns. That is correct for five points. And that brings us to a dilemma because we have a tie. So the game cannot end on a tie. Next correct answer is going to take it. The most exciting thing in the world is bonus academic challenge. <laughs> Good luck. You too. For ten points. If an earthquake strikes you while okay, if an earthquake strikes you while you are in the car, what should you do? <laughs> Zeppelin, Bangor, duck and cover. <laughs> <laughs> well, where's the get uh, out of the car? The, uh, <laughs> um, that is incorrect. Uh, <laughs> and uh, countryside, Mario, well, your answer was what? Get out of the car. Uh, that is also And that is, I think, the last thing you want to do. I think the correct is just stay in the car. <laughs> so, and that was not a good question anyway. So we'll, we'll skip that one. Well, let's try it again. <laughs> Mr. Gifford has editing power, so. Mm -hmm. For 20 points, three friends whose walking rates are one feet per second, three feet per second, and six feet per second start out together, walking in the same direction around a circular track that is 300 feet in circumference. And for how many minutes are the three of them together again? I'll repeat the question. Three friends whose walking rates are one feet per second, three feet per second, and six feet per second start out together walking in the same direction around a circular track that is 300 feet in circumference. After how many minutes are the three of them together again? Mario, countryside. Six minutes. That is incorrect. Bangor, want to give it a shot? Zeppelin? Nine minutes. The correct answer is five minutes. Oh. And the third overtime <laughs> question. <laughs> I laughed when I read that one. one. Come on. <laughs> what protist has a unique double-layered shell made of silica? That's time. And that's a diatom? For ten points... Which early stringed instrument, one of the primary ancestors of the guitar, has frets and is played by plucking with fingers or a plectrum? Nathan Bangor. The Lou? That is correct for 10 points. Stand <laughs> by. All right, folks, that does it. It's the end of today's academic challenge match. We'll tabulate the scores and announce the winners after this on WSJM, the news and talk of Michigan's Great Southwest. <laughs> Uh, if you guys will bear with us, we got to do a little saving of audio here, and then we'll come back and wrap this thing up. It was a, a lightning strike, I think. Wasn't it? No, it was, it was, it was like, Yeah, stay in your car, I think maybe.
Yeah. Maybe a fault will follow you up or something. I don't really know. Yeah. Yeah. It sounded like it. So like... Honestly, unless they exact the answer, I was just going to skip it. Yeah. You know? Because it wasn't been fair, I think. I didn't understand it. Stop the car. That's what I wanted to do. I mean, in 2012, they flew a plane right over the darn thing, so. You took Avalanche. That was fun. <laughs> that was the first tie we've ever had, guys, so. Yep. All right, folks, here we go. Let's wrap it up. We are back on WS Jam's Academic Challenge to announce today's winner and thank our sponsors and the winners by a score of 130 to 120 in overtime. The team from Bangor. How about a nice hand for the Vikings? Congratulations, one and all, and thank you all for joining us on WS Jam's Academic Challenge, brought to you by Lakeshore Public Schools, Lake Michigan College, Water Valley Public Schools, and by Chemical Bank. And we invite you to join us again next time as Barry and Springs and St. Joe go head-to-head on Academic Challenge. (laughs) Thank you, everybody. Appreciate you coming out. Hope you all have a good Thanksgiving. And we'll see you whenever the next time is you come back. <laughs> Thank you. Glad you guys can make it. Oh, no problem, man. That's a problem. Sorry, man. I didn't.